Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. So you just got your machine. Now you want to get in, set up the preferences, and get going. So let's check out the preferences first so you can get familiar with some of the defaults and things that you need to set up before you get going. So you go to File, then you go into Preferences. You can see you got some different tabs. So starting on the General tab, let's say every time you open a machine, you want it to reload the last thing you were working on. You would click this checkbox right here. If you want all of your audio, everything you sample to go into the same project folder that you're working on, just say recorded audio, prefer project folder. Click that. This down here is your MIDI settings. So if you want it to receive on a specific MIDI channel or if you want to receive on any MIDI channel, you can just click Omni. And then right there you have your sync offset. Now your defaults, this is going to be like, say, under your pattern length. Let's say every time you start a new pattern, you usually work with four bars or you usually work with two bars. So you're going to set the beats right here to give you a default pattern length. Mine's is set to 16, so that's four bars because one bar is going to have four beats. So if you want it to be two bars, you would set it to eight beats. Right here, you can set your input quantize default. If you always want your quantize, you always want to quantize when you're playing your stuff in, you can turn it on right here and set it to record, or you can set it to play and record. Right down here, you can actually set up template projects. So every time you open up machine and standalone, you can have one project start. You can have your you know specific plugins, or you want to start with specific kits, whatever you want. Every time you start machine, you can do that. You can also set one up for the plugin. So anytime you open it inside of a host, it will have a specific set of parameters. Now your user pass, most of the time you're not going to mess with this. These are going to get populated automatically as you add your own samples, but you could go in and add your own user folders and scan it into the library. But I suggest just doing it by importing your sounds. And we have another video showing you how to do that. Your libraries, this is another thing that you probably will never really mess with. This is for all of the native instrument stuff. It gets added in there. So anytime you add anything that's compatible with machine, whether it be the expansions or anything from complete, it'll show up inside of here and you can check the locations to make sure it's important to the proper place. Sometimes you may need to go in here and rescan things if you do updates and stuff like that. But for the most part, you won't be messing with that. Now your plugins, you can see right here where you, you can add your plugins, you can manage your plugins, and then right here is going to tell you which type you're in. So if I'm in a 64-bit, then it's going to show me a 32-bit tab, and this is where all my 32-bit plugins are going to be, but I can't use them because they're 32-bit. So these are all my 64-bit plugins. Your hardware, this is where you can set some settings for like the pads, the brightness on the display, stuff like that. And then you can set some defaults for your colors. So let's say if you want your scenes to be a certain color, you can do that or you can leave it to auto. Same with your groups and your sounds. And if you want it to load with the colors. So let's say you load a project that you saved or a kit that you saved or a kit that someone else saved. If you want to load it with the colors, then you click that. If not, it'll load with your chosen colors. So again, this is just going over the preferences menu. There's a lot of stuff in there to set up your defaults and the way that you want machine to work when you open things up. So, of course, if you got any questions, let me know. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com.